Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. So in this video I would like to continue uh, with the series of uh, Tento folders. You can say also fixed blades because I, I'm currently working on this series. And uh, what I found is a really old uh, design or old uh, knife that is still in production. I know for the, probably the past 15 years or so on by uh, Smith & Wesson. Uh, this is from the Extreme Ops series. And this is the CK 50 uh, BS. So this will be in the category inexpensive, uh, small to medium sized uh, folding knife. If you are on the budget, uh, if you, let's say, would like to spend under twenty dollars, then uh, you can definitely find sales on this one here. It is a really nice uh, construction and design I will be talking about a little bit later but for now uh, uh, let's see the see the specifications so we have an over length of 18.7 centimeter or 7.4 inches so if you have an excel size hand uh, this is something like three and a half finger affair for me with the jimping here but definitely you can grab on it and uh, I have used a similar knife uh, that I'll be talking about a little bit later on uh, for quite uh, a time. So uh, the blade is 8.3 centimeters or 3.2 inches. Uh, the blade width is uh, 2.1 centimeters, 0.8 inches. Thickness is 2.3 millimeters or 0.1 inch. Handle is 10.5 centimeters long or 4.4 inches with a thickness of 1.1 centimeter or 0.4 inches that is without the pocket clip. Materials used on this one, uh, we have a uh, either uh, 7CR 17 MOV or 440C, depending on the website where you are uh, you looking at it. I don't know, probably the older ones were 440C, and then at some point they switched to, uh, to 7CR because these are made in China, of course. Uh, Smith Wesson does not make their own knives, they outsource them uh, by uh, third party uh, OEM companies and they are making them there. So it will make much more sense if this was uh, a 7CR17, given the time uh, point and time frame uh, when the knife uh, was produced, of course. But it could be 440C, definitely should be no problem between these two uh, steels, since uh, we have a, a titanium powder uh, coating on it, and that should help with the corrosion resistance. On the scales, uh, we have a really nicely milled uh, aluminium, which is then something like probably some kind of Cerakote or another coating of uh, black color. And this is completely stealth uh, looking, uh, looking knife. So you, uh, either also the hardware is uh, blacked out liners, everything. As you can see there, uh, the liners are stainless steel. Uh, they are partially um, uh, milled out due, due to the design, but the other side is uh, uh, not milled out, as you can see right there. We have two configurations as far as blades goes uh, with this Tento uh, partial CRD profile and then also a, a drop point configuration with uh, either gray. Mm, gray looking uh, scales or or um, or red uh, sorry uh, blue and also a uh, camo brown camo pattern so there are the three designs i uh, did see and uh, i had uh, a couple of years ago also the the blue one that it sold it to, to a friend Okay, as far as period assembly goes, we have two uh, phosphor washers, one large, one small, and this is a really nice uh, hint to the, to the designer who did uh, design this knife, because uh, if you look at this one, then you probably uh, did, if you, you, are, you are around knives like I am, you will definitely saw this, uh, this design somewhere in the, in the past. And uh, now we'll let... Uh, Let's continue with this part of the video. So this is my old, really old EDC. Probably I got it uh, 14, 14 ish years ago. Uh, this is the the Gerber Air Ranger, designed by none other than the legendary Bill Horsey. Uh, and uh, as you can see, uh, 
I did. Uh, I always do my my own measures. I do not I rely on the measurements uh, found on the website. So I did compare them, and they are they are the same. The thickness, uh, the uh, the size, everything. So uh, basically, the company who made uh, these air uh, arrangers for uh, Gerber because. Gerber uh, also had some nice designs outsourced uh, in China. They just uh, put the design in the catalog, and when uh, Smith Samson came, they just ordered it. Probably this is what 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 did go along. Oh, I don't know if uh, maybe Smith Samson has some uh, has some uh, understanding with uh, uh, with designer, and uh, they kept using this one. But in my opinion, this is a blatant ripoff of the of the Ray Ranger so and yeah I should probably get one of one of the new versions uh, into my collection because this one all this really beat up and but I really like how how smooth it was how smooth I did <laughs> make it and uh, the newer ones uh, do come with, um, with G10 and 7 CR17 MOE so this is uh, this is um, aluminium like the Smith Wesson so the weight comes at 84.4 grams or 3 ounces made in China and now let's see the sharpness because uh, this can be hit and miss with these uh, these uh, Smith & Wessons as you can see yeah this could definitely use a stropping or a ceramic rod yeah not not that impressive <laughs> not that impressive but it will cut of course but uh, uh, not the paper so now let's see uh, I forgot to, to mention the, the pocket clip so the pocket clip has a really light uh, stiffness so that is really good to have centering is I'd say almost perfect now let's see the, the pocket profile unfortunately this is this is only tip down configuration and as you can see there a quite a huge chunk it will stick out but you can grab it without any problems if you prefer you cannot mount uh, this pocket clip anyway I would prefer to have it uh, on the other side if I'm not mistaken the the new version of the Air Ranger has, has the same problem has has a similar pocket clip but it's um, mounted a little bit higher up but uh, still only tip down and yeah did I forget something oh yeah the linear hole you have a general size uh, uh, general size linear hole so generous size linear hole so you can use a 550 paracord it opens uh, really smooth due to the washer configuration and Bill Harsey does this on most of his knives there is a smaller one and a larger one to give it a more surface so now let's see a SAS comparison. So I brought out a couple of my old old knives here. So let's see the legendary Sock Flash 1 Tento. This is a long, long time discontinued, so just for fun. My Warren Thomas and Beretta. Carbon fiber and VG10 laminate. Then of course here we have another true regent, uh, the CQC7. I don't have a, a small M16, so here is the full size one from the Zosi Let's see the CRKT Goken. And let's continue with the Spyderco Delica. QSP Penguin. Sorry about that. Red model two. CVV Elementum. Paramilitary 3 
page made bug out. Small grid claim from Benchmade. CRKT Pillar 1. Feldspar, CJV Feldspar Mini. Rafael Peanut. And let's close down with the K-Bar Dozer Folding Hunter. So now uh, let's talk about the, the, the pricing. So uh, like I mentioned, uh, the price is uh, $24.99, so under $25. Usually uh, these will be on sale. Uh, uh, you have a, a really wide uh, range of, of uh, dealers around the world. Um, most of them uh, obviously are in the USA and uh, some of them have uh, this one marked down uh, as low as uh, $10. So for $10, you can definitely not go wrong, but I would probably keep in mind that uh, uh, this is uh, something that is designed after the Gerber Air Ranger, uh, which is around 30-ish dollars. Uh, and uh, here in Europe, you will pay more around 26, so on the 30 euros. But if you're looking for a really good looking, uh, stealthy, uh, uh, Tento and don't mind the serrations and the pocket clip then uh, check out the Smith & Wesson Extreme of Tento the CK 50 BS so with that being said I would like to thank you for watching if you have any questions please do comments down below I'm more than happy to reply as soon as I can of course if you are a subscriber thank you very much big thumbs up to you and if you are not a subscriber then please consider subscribing do not miss any future videos with that being said wish you a wonderful day and hope to see you soon Bye.